I'm about to give you four steps for creating glowing thumbnails like this, this, and this using Photoshop. And everything I'm going to be telling you in this video will apply to these thumbnails. And maybe you'll be finding it difficult to create thumbnails like these that are glowing. These four steps will help you create glowing thumbnails that help you look like a professional and could also get you lots and lots of views on YouTube. So if you're new to this channel, I have a special bonus for you at the end of this video. So stay to the end and don't forget to subscribe. Hold my hand and let's go. So step number one, backgrounds. When it comes to creating glowing thumbnails, backgrounds apply. If you look at these three thumbnails, what do you observe? They have high contrast and dark backgrounds. So you can either use a interior design, use a color or any image you can turn back. Then you should always choose your colors before designing. I suppose that you have a dedicated color palette for your channel. Mine is this. Mine has a darker color, a lighter version of it, and it has a contrasting or complementary color and it has white in it. And also you can use a color palette that refers to whatever you are doing. For instance, this thumbnail uses colors referring to video editing and Premiere Pro. So the creator uses purple on this side and he uses blue on this side. So you get it. So I'm going to drag in my dark interior design image. And I'm also going to drag in my colors. And I'm going to add my colors here. I've added my colors here, my green and my white. So I'm going to add in the colors. I'm going to create a new layer. This is I'm going to be adding a lot of layers. I'm going to create a new layer. Remember when you're adding layers, just go down to this thing that looks like this. Down to the layer. Create a new layer. I'm going to press Alt plus Backspace to fill with the color. I'm going to add layer mask. This, I'm going to be adding a lot of layer masks in this. Add the layer mask. And we're going to invert it, control shift. I am going to go to our brush. So I'm going to use the brush tool in this design. So get ready. A lot in this design. So get ready. So I'm going to click on X. Remember, when you are on your layer max, this white is to expose and dark is to hide. If you don't know this now in Photoshop, I don't know what you don't know. I don't know, I don't know what you know. Uh, I'm going to press X. White to reveal. I'm just going to paint in part. And I'm going to change the blending mode to color. Sorry. And just change the blending mode to color. Okay. Just painting this side here. And I'm going to add under layer mask. And I'm going to fill it with my yellow color. Press X on my keyboard and click on fill. And I'm going to change the blending mode to color. And I'm going to add the layer mask and invert control I. And I'm going to press paint here. Now it's time for us to add drag in my image. Step number two is for you to understand how light works. Just understand basics of light and like and how light works. For example, I have a light shining on me here and a red light shining on me here. So basically, you should you should know your light source. So my light source is coming from my my right, and on that right light is shining from my left, and the light is not red. And so this part of my body where the red light is shining is the highlight. The mid part in between the darkest part of my body and the highlight is the mid tones and also the darkest part where the light cannot be seen is the shadows. For example, now this place is a shadow because my hand is covering it. This place is a shadow here. Take a look at this thumbnail. You can just establish where the light is coming from. For example, the light is coming from the back and like the highlight is shining up on the body, like this part. The light is coming from the back and from the side here. So, uh, a couple of highlights on his body like this and like the mid tones and the mid tones are like here and here, like the shadows are like here because his hand is like kind of blocking this place. So, this is like the shadow suit and this the mid part is like the body so when you are painting the light on your character or on your face on your body or anything just paint paint like at the edges where you think that the light will be shining on the person or on you whatever you think it is all right step number three is adding glows to your design and we're going to be showing you this method in two ways so when it comes to adding glues you're going to be making use of three blend modes they are the screen linear dodge and the color dodge you're also going to be making use of your brush tool you're going to be making use of your bracket open and your bracket close to bracket open to reduce the size of the brush and you're also be going to be using your adjusting your flows your flows this thing on top here your flows to increase the the amount of brushes applied to your design I'm going to create a new layer let me just create four new layers and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with them so the first layer like this i'm going to add in your yellow color alt backspace 
to fill with your foreground color remember that then i'm going to be changing i'm going to leave this as normal and i'm going to flip remember to flip is to change this to change your between your foreground and your background color <laughs> so i'm going to fill it green and i'm going to convert this one to i'm going to i'm just going to leave the blending mode on this one at normal and i'm going to flip in clip mask clip mask i'm going to do the same thing that layer i'm going to fill with yellow and i'm going to fill it with green so i'm going to clip this i'm going to clip this okay for this first layer i'm going to invert this add the layer mask invert this control i a layer max invert this control i then these two, two top layers i'll change their blending modes to linear dodge add okay and i'm going to create a layer mask invert layer mask control i invert so these are my normal layers and these are my linear dodge layers so for this yellow layer i'm going to the yellow side so my light source is showing me yellow lights are coming from these windows here and this is coming from these windows here so for this i'm going to paint this one i'm going to paint it with my brush tool make the flow to be about let's make it 30. I'm just going to paint it here I'm just going to paint around the edge okay i'm going to go to my linear dodge layer i'm going to change the flow to about say like 15. i'm just going to paint here like so Okay, I'm going to do this for the green side also. So I'm going to speed this part up. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to blend this, blend this to the underlying layer by double clicking on each of my layers. I'm going to my blend if and going to the underlying layer and just work it in with this thing. Remember this, you can blend to your layer and blend to the underlying layer, the current layer of blend to the underlying layer. I remember this darkest part is the shadows and the brightest part here is the highlight. So I'm going to just go to blend this here i'm just going to blend it separate this whole out just going to blend it a bit okay just do that for here and i'll do that for here and i'll do that for this other linear dodge layers I'll do this for you. So I want to reduce this a bit. I'm taking out my colors. I'm just gonna take this on the back a bit. Mm, yes, taking too much of it. All right. So just play around this. I'm gonna play around it. Remember when you are using your brush, when you are painting in your brush, remember to take your time. It's not. It should not be rushed. It should be something that you just take your time and do. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to add my gradient map to this. I'm going to click on adjustments, go to gradient map and add the gradient map to this. And I'm going to add my colors into this. I'm going to add, remember this is the highlights, the brightest part. This represents, this is the darkest here like this represents the shadow. So I'm going to click on this and add gradient map here. And I'm going to add in color. I'm going to add in white here, just white to make like a bright here, very bright. All right, so I'm just going to play with this, move this here, move this here, move this here. I can see that it's kind of weird now. And move this a bit and click on, click on OK. I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay and I'm going to bring the opacity down to about 38. And I'm going to unhide this and I'm going to use my blend if here. Double click on this because it's my blend if and blend this like this, like so, like split and also blend this here ah okay so you can see the difference you can see the difference the colors kind of show on the body so the next thing i'm going to do is I'm going to be adding using my brush to add like all those violent blues that should shine like this to shine like shine so i'm going to add a layer at the back add two layers at the back and i'm going to go to my brush tool and make my flow to be 100 percent then i will increase my this is my the same bucket tools and i'm going to Paste my green here. Just paste my green here. This layer. Go to my other layer. And I'm going to paste my yellow here. Okay. And I'm going to change the ability mode to screen. Okay. Then I'm going to create a new layer. Create another two new layers. And I'm going to bring in white. White. Reduce this a bit. Paste there. Go to the next layer. Paste here. I'm going to change their blending mode, their blend mode to screen. I'm going to go above this. I'm going to add on that two new layers. 
and I'm going to press, I'm going to add my yellow back, my yellow color back. Where's my color palette? I'm just going to add my yellow back here, and I'm going to paste. I'm going to drop yellow here. Yeah. I'm going to drop a little green here. Switch green. I will change that then goes to screen. Screen. Yep. Okay. I'm going to select all of them like this. Or this, this, and this, this. Holding my control, I'm just going to make them bigger. Now it's time for us to add these special glues to your design. All those glues are to make it like shine, like shine, 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 shine. And look so shiny. So I'm going to go on top of this layer like this. I'm going to add four new layers. Four new new layers. Add one, two, three, four. I'm going to add. I'm going to fill them with. I'm going to fill this one with 100% black. So fill this one with 100% black. And go here to my foreground and make it 100% black. Then I'll press Alt and Bar Space. Fill it 100% black. And I'll go up here and fill, it, fill this one. Leave one. Fill it 100% black. Black space. Then. Change the, the blending mode to screen. Both of them change the blending mode to screen. Okay. Then I will add. I want to add back my green here. My color. Add back my green. Oof. Then I will add the gradient map to this gradient map and uh, hide it and clip it to this lip and also clip this to the black. But the black isn't clipped to anything. And in this empty layer is where you're going to be creating your adding your glues. And I want to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to create a new gradient layer here on top of this clip this and hide it and i'm going to clip this to the black layer remember the black is not clipped to anything and this layer is going to be for my green this layer is going to be for my yellow so what i'm going to do here is i am going to add different shades of yellow down from darkest to white so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to add my yellow here since yellow is already here ready and i'm going to add white at the end okay white at the end then I'm going to add different shades of yellow color here. Just going to click on this. Add on that shade of yellow. Click here. Add a darker shade of yellow here. Then I want a lighter version of the yellow of this dark version here. Just make a lighter version, but not the actual. Then I will leave it like this. Okay. And I will open it. Then for this, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add. Now this is for my greens. I'm going to go to green here. I'm just going to leave this one. Take this one to the end, to the middle. Then this. I'm going to add white here. White. And here I'm going to add black. 100% black. And here I'm going to add a dark, the darker shade of green here. Click my way. Then I'm just going to add dark, the dark shade of green. This. And I'm going to add on that color of green here. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to move this like this. Move this like this. Click on OK, and I'm going to unhide this. When it comes to adding these special glues, I'm going to make use of three tools. Number one is your brush tool. Number two is your smudge tool. And number three is your eraser tool. So you're going to use your brush tool to apply the glues. You're going to use your smudge tool to spread the glues. I'm going to use your eraser tool to erase the mistakes you are going to, you are going to make. You're going to be careful when you're doing this. You're going to take your time. Really take your time when you're doing this. So that you don't make mistakes. So I'm going to go to the empty layer, and this is for the green. This is for the green. So I'm going to go to the A max here. My blue. I'm going to change this to white, and I'm going to reduce my my max my brush to. I'm just going to paint here. Just so to paint this one a bit. Paint a little bit. Paint. And I'm going to zoom in so that you can see it. So I'm going to reduce this a bit again. Just going to paint like this. Just paint like this. I'm going to use my smudge tool, this is my smudge tool. And I'm going to spread it with my smudge tool. Then I'll use my eraser tool to erase the mistakes I don't want to, that I don't want on this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this part. So just work on this, work on this, work on this, work on the green side, work on the yellow side, work on the side you want to use. Then I'll show you the result.
all right i'm done now the fourth step for you to do is to add your finishing touches work on your, your text then add your particles and any other thing you want to do so what you're going to do you're going to add you're going to add noise to the background you're going to add noise to the background go to filter add noise add noise to the background just see a couple of noise then you can also add camera roll filter just work on it add some other things to it then i want to add the particles everything you need for this video is in the description below and i want to add the particles drag in my particles ah my particles is underneath underneath my image then i want to change it to screen change it to screen then i want to add gaussian blur to this gaussian blur blur filter into blur and gaussian blur okay i'm going to leave the gaussian blur at eight then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to add in my photoshop icon you can go and download it from that link in the description below uh, i'm just going to rotate this a bit then make it smaller smaller then i am going to change it to gaussian blur filter I'm going to change the blur filter gaussian blur this is the blurriness this is the blurriness all right i'm just going to hold ctrl alt and drag to duplicate this duplicate this song else all right then i'm also going to add my text so i added my text right behind me then i'm going to add some layer styles to it i'm going to duplicate this text ctrl j then i'm going to add I'm going to add layer marks to this add layer marks to this all right i'm going to just going to use this i'm going to use my marquee tool to draw out the middle part like this rectangular marquee draw out the middle part like this then i will use my brush to to hide this part hide this part let me up this one hide this part all right i'm going to hide this one and open this one so i'm going to invert it Control shift i invert this one then i'm going to clean out this one so i have two parts so i have this part and i have this part so what i'm going to do here i'm going to add use layer mask to add glues to it the same way you're adding glues to normal design almost the same way so double click on this one so this one is for so is for the wing mid part this is the green part double click on it go to outer glue and i want to add in my add back my green color here Let's just hide this one a bit add my, my green color here so i want to add back my green color here this is it Woo! all right so it's my outer glue I'm going to click my outer glue my outer glue is in my blend mode is in linear dodge arch my opacity is in 56 my noise is this my spread is this my size is this my range is this so just play around this you'll play around your blending options to work with that to work with this so i'm going to do the same thing for the other side but in a different color this other side i'm going to double click on it i'm going to add outer glue and I'm going to make the outer glue to be yellow here. It's already collect collected from here. Yellow. Okay. Okay. So you can also add, you can also add stamp your image, stamp your image, stamp on it by pressing on stamp your visible by pressing Ctrl Shift Alt and E to stamp your visible. Add on that layer like this. Then you can just convert to smart object. Then use your camera refer to just work on it. Work on the blending mode. Then also you can add this. Your can add these my tapes that I added. These tapes that I added. So you can also add this things that i added so i've come to the end of this and here's the bonus for you um i want you to join my telegram group or my whatsapp group so you can get access to other designers and other youtubers and you can also collaborate join share your design share your pictures share your ideas and basically we just grow and learn stuff together that is just it's just a community join my community so that's it i want you to practice this and send it to me on instagram so i can just check it out just create your own design on this Create your own idea of this. I send to my Instagram and I'll check it out. You have learned how to create a glowing thumbnail. Now, ah, learn how to edit a video by clicking on this video, on this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.